As Nigeria progresses in her democratic journey, stakeholders have continued to call for devolution of powers to foster social economic development in the country. The stakeholders who made the remark during the fifth annual lecture of Freedom Online themed 2023 to 2027 Nigerians elected leaders and expectations argued the centralization of governance is a product of the military and wondered why the civilian government since the exit of the military regime cannot decentralize governance. The participants also pointed out that the current revenue sharing formula in Nigeria where the federal government takes the lion's share is no longer affordable in the country. Poverty in this country is alarming and that they have that God that to hell with you you can, whatever you say, we will buy this uh, bulletproof SUVs, we will buy this furniture, we will buy this air conditioner for 100 billion. It is criminal. And, and I feel disappointed, more disappointed, that even LP members in the House did not object. So which means the political class is the same. The Nigeria that I know first died in 1966 with the Decree 34, when regionalism was abolished. Then in 1978, some characters also killed the same Nigeria by imposing corruption reading presidential system too often, as politicians, we tend to fractionalize and put ourselves in enclaves to enhance our personal interests. As we build up to the elections in Bielsa, Imo, and Kogi, I wish to make this passionate appeal to all political actors. Let us empower the voices of our younger generation they should not be pawns to be used in political games. Even for the leaders to effectively communicate with Nigerians to permeate to the grassroots, it becomes difficult. So there is a communication gap. But he arrived at the conclusion that in spite of that, there is a, one common language that every Nigerian understands in terms of the expectation. And that common language is good governance. Intelligence-driven police force Working with security bodies at the state level, we ensure insecurity becomes history in Nigeria. So clearly, Nigerians want state police between now and 2027. With enabling laws, state governments have the capacity to ensure the development of this country. From the north to the south, east to the west, Nigerians want governors to be decentralized. Poverty in this country is alarming, and that they have that. On his part, the elder statesman, Chief Olabadi Judge, took a swipe on politicians, saying they take life as if there is no tomorrow. Chief Judge expressed and noted that the country must take another look at the 1999 Constitution for Nigeria to reach the Promised Land. Put an end to the economic inequalities injustice, unfairness in the distribution of our God-given resources and our financial wealth. A situation where a city senator collects 23 million naira every month, a retired permanent secretary collects 1 million naira every month as pension, and a retired military general collects 250,000 naira as pension per month is despicable shambolic, nonsensical, and outright systemic failure. How will the palliatives be distributed? A quick reminder of the 500 billion previously collected monthly and supposedly distributed without data or accountability calls for an in-depth investigation and punishment. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.